the moment we've all been waiting for mega tins what's up guys we're back with the 2021 mega tins we're going to be opening them up today we do have a quick giveaway i'll be giving away this mega tin that i got for 30 dollars kind of a lot but i'm giving this away this is from the locals that i mean all the tins have gone up so much because of the epic cards inside so you guys can win this just like the video be subscribed and let me know your favorite card in the tin or the one you're looking forward to the most the reprint or whatever let's get an opening all right, we're going straight into it because we have 12 tins today, an entire case of tins. We're going to be doing an entire four more cases tomorrow, theoretically, maybe three more. I don't know. Depends on if everything gets here and whatever. So we're doing live stream tomorrow. So make sure you guys check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are pushing toward that 100K. And uh, this is going to be fun because this set's actually pretty good. There's like an $85 cross out designator in here, something like that. We'll see what the price settles at, but... Dragoon last year was super hyped, and this card's like double the price of Dragoon, which is insane. So let's see if we can get a few of those. I think it's like 1.5 per case. So let's see. It's an ultra rare. There's also the prismatic secret rarity, which only comes in here, which is really cool. So let's see what we can pull. There's a lot of good cards. So we'll kind of go through them as we get to them. There's a lot of cards per pack because they're mega packs. Super Every Samurai. Captain Roland. All right, here's our prismatic secret rare, M Machina. We got the Maximus. That's a good card. And Area. And then we've got some more cards. So one Prismatic Rare per pack and then two Ultras, which is pretty cool. Next Mega Pack. So the cross out Designator will be in that Ultra Rare spot. So that's kind of what we're looking for. All right. There's a lot of cards per pack. So let's see. We've got... Uh, let's just kind of go through here because there's a lot. We got 36 packs here. All right. Once we get to the foils, we can we can chill out. We got the Armory Call. Melvy Forest. Cross Sheep. This is a pretty good reprint. That should be a pretty decent, pretty decent pull. Burning Draw and the Ignister... AI land. Okay. Then we've got another rare and some more comments. Let's keep going. So this is a reprint set. There's a lot of cards that did not get reprinted in here, but are getting reprinted potentially in the future. Like we're looking for access code talker, maybe in gold and uh, impermanence has officially been confirmed in the structure deck, which is pretty cool. So you'll be able to get that as a, I assume a common, maybe not, but okay. We got the performal pal turn trooper, super tribe brigade. Here's our prismatic secret. Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. Okay, I don't know about too much about that one. Nadir Servant. Here's a big ultra rare. This is going to be one of the best cards. And a Tribe Brigade Nerval. It's not a bad card either. That's why this card went down so much. It got reprinted. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. On to our second tin. We got a Nadir Servant. I would say that's a pretty decent tin. That might cover the MSRP of $20, but now that they're kind of like $30, I don't know if that's going to get there or not. I don't know how we did, but we're just going to open up the rest of the tins uh, so we can do this all at once. We got the other 11 tins out, so we've got three packs of each. So I got 33 packs. Let's see what we can pull. This should speed it up a little bit. Let's continue on. We want to pull that cross out designator. It's 1.5 per case, it seems like. So two is what we're aiming for. One, obviously we want. You can get zero, I think, which would be bad. All right, we've got a super rare. All right, and a low, a low, low, lay low, lay. I don't know how to say that, but we've got a prismatic secret rare. We got the Gizmak Kaku. Oh, and there's a Zeus. Okay, that's one of the best ultra rares. There we go. That's a very good reprint. The Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder. So very good reprint there. I kind of want to keep these in tin so we kind of see what each tin would have gotten like by itself. So right now we've already gotten a Zeus in that tin. So that's a pretty good pull. We've got the Squeak Knight, all right. Indulgent, Melfi, obsessive. We've got another Captain Roland, Magical Hound, and Shadal Schism. All right, we've got a Prismatic Seeker right there, and a we got a Juji. So Virtual World has a lot of cards in here. There's the Adam Adam Emancipator cards. Pretty nice. I've actually kept up a lot more with what's in this set than normal on newer sets. Just, you know, following what's going to get reprinted and all that stuff. So even though they don't have a price guide out yet, I kind of know some of the better cards. And because of the reprints, you know, you already know if it's a good card, etc. Okay, Tri Brigade Rugal. Heavy forward. And a Parallel Exceed. That's the highest rarity of this card. It started as a common, so that's actually probably the night, definitely the nicest version. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, we've got a Gearsu, another good ultra rare. Dogmatica, what is that? Flirdelis? I don't remember that card. That's a pretty good tin overall. We got some good cards in there. Okay, so pretty nice. I really like the Prismatic Secret Rare for these Megaton cards. 
Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's pretty cool that it's exclusive to the tins. So even though they are reprints, they kind of have something exclusive about them. Super rare. Warning point. All right, we got Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder. True Light and Burning Draw. Okay, so I'm going with the Cough Drop because I have this Cough and it is not going away. And right in the middle of that pack, I got hit with it. I just died. 10 more tins. See what I did there. Here we go. Can we pull that cross out designator? Battle Survivor. Goki. Phoenix Portrait. Drytron. Sky Striker Ace Rose. That's a pretty nice copy. The Seeker Rare. Ooh, I thought it was the cross out. There it is. There's a uh, Ignister A land. And a Dear Servant. Okay, pretty good. We'll take that. It's pretty good. So another Nadir is already. That's pretty strong. Here we go. Goki. AI Ritual. Melfi. And for Noble, we've got Super Every Samurai. Adamant Spanner. Analyzer. That's a pretty good card. I don't... What card is this? I don't remember where this is from. Okay. We got the Lunar Dragon. Nerval. And a Maximus. Okay. Pretty good Ultras. Raider Knight, we got the Curse. We're a quarter way through this case. We've had some pretty good luck. Still have not hit the big card, though. The really big card. That's what we're looking for. We've got Trap Tricks. Gizmek. Adamancipator Signs. This is a decent one, I think. Not crazy, but... Okay. The uh, Chi Chi. And the Ghost Mourner. That's a cool reprint. That's a cool Ultra. And then we have uh, the Creepy Hand. Okay. And Link Burst. All right, guys. Send us the luck in the chat. Here we go. Proxy. Red Time. Go Talker. Goki. Analyzer. Lingaribo. Ooh, Raviel. Lord of Phantasms. That's nice. The Tri Brigade Shurag. And Fallen of Albaz. And a few other cards. All right. Last pack from this tin. Got the Arc Rebellion. Heavy forward. Shadal Schism. Okay. Cross out designator. There it is. Our first copy. And a gear suit. That's a pretty good pack. Okay. We will take that. This is the card that we're looking for. It's going to be a super good card in the meta. That's why it's so expensive. People are pre ordering at over $100, which is insane. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're looking for. We now have one copy. Hopefully, we'll get a second one out of this case. All right, so that's a very good one. Early on, we got a cross out. That's very good. Let's continue on to the next case, or 10, I should say. Let's see if we can get another one. That'd be crazy if we got two. Chaos Summoning. Tribe Brigade Fractal, okay. Oh, another Zeus. And a... Never seen that card. The Chaos? I don't know. I don't know. Not bad. We got another Zeus. We'll take that. Two Zeus so far. Let's keep it up. We've had some pretty good luck so far. Super Heavy. Lingaribo. Tri Brigade Revolt. AI Contact. And Triple Tactics Talents is in here. I forgot about that. This is the second best card, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. I believe this card was hovering around 30 bucks, which is pretty good, honestly. I mean, that's very strong. It covers a 10 even after the increase in price. So that's pretty nice. So with Zeus and a Talents, I'm sure anyone who bought that 10 would be very happy. Um, and I bought it, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Okay, Speed Roid, Code Talker, Arc Rebellion, Parallel ex Exceed again, another Nerval, and a Magic Magician Salvation. These are the exclusive cards, right? The uh, the new cards for Dark Magician. Very cool. There's like four of them, I think. We're almost halfway through the tins, and uh, we're halfway through the case, and it's gotten pretty good so far. It pulled all the good stuff, pretty much. And for Noble, Seeker, Squatter. Another parallel exceed. Okay. Piercing the Darkness. That's another Dark Magician card. Cool. And the Archosaur. That's a good reprint as well. Very good. Very good stuff so far. Honestly, these tins are loaded. There's so many good cards in here. That is the cool part about the tins. They reprint all these good cards. So if you don't want to pay your $70 or whatever, or even more sometimes, then you can get the tins. Dark Lord. Artillery. Oh, we got a Lulu. That that was a pretty like it was a pretty expensive ultra, I think. 
Gizmek, Kaku, another Zeus, wow. Another Zeus, that's three Zeus in the first half. That's very good. All right, that's, that's pretty awesome actually. This has been incredible luck so far. I don't know how our luck is stacking up versus other tens. I haven't seen any openings yet, so we'll see kind of how this is, but it seems like we're doing pretty nice. Red sign, Buzzsaw Shark, Genitor. Oh wait, I thought this was a super for some reason, okay. Tri Brigade Fractal again, okay. We've got another virtual world and uh, Dragonite, or Dragite, not Dragonite. This is not a uh, Pokemon. All right, sorry, I'm a little, uh, I'm coughing a little bit. I've had a cough and it has been really killing me, guys. Okay, we've got the Adamant Spirit of Relief, Musashi. Oh, and a Uriah, so we've got the whole set now, right? We've got the whole set, triple tactics talents and a Nerval. Okay, that's a pretty good pack. I know a lot of people were angry about these, but honestly, they're super cool for collectors. I think they're really cool. And usually the good stuff is in the ultra rare slot anyway, so it's not like too big of a deal. I don't think that it took up a uh, prismatic secret spot. I think that it kind of fits in that rarity anyway. All right, this is a, uh, I'd say it's going fairly well. Really well, actually. If we can get another cross out, this would be a great case. We already got two triple tactics. Okay, Drytron. Dogmatic of Punishment's a very good card. We got a Maximus. And a true light. Okay, nice stuff. Nice stuff. Very good. I'm trying to keep these sorted over here because uh, so many of these cards are like worth something. It's hard to keep up because, you know, you're getting two ultras, two supers, you know, a parallel secret or whatever it's called. Renewable Arms, Genitor, Drytron Zeta, Aldeba. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We got the Chaos Ruler and the Pikaru. Pikari, I should say. Not Pikachu Circle of Enchantment, that's an old card. Seven tens in. He's going pretty good. We just need that one more cross out designator. And one more triple tactics talents for a place that would be nice as well. Yoki Guts. Relief. Joy use. Another Metal Cruncher. Our first one we pulled. The King Beast Barbaros. Is that an alt art? I don't know. Oh, another one! The cross out designator! We got two! Wow, that's crazy good because like these cover several tins in price. That's pretty amazing. Cross out designator first released in the tin. It's been in the OCG for a long time, but well, maybe not a long time, but it's been in the OCG. Okay, successful case for sure. Going very well. I've got some more coming, but the first case is looking pretty good. Already two cross outs. I mean, there's not much to complain about now. Gravity controller. We get the uh, Nyan Nyan, Ariel, and uh, Moonlit Chill. Okay, pretty good. All these are pretty good cards. I honestly am going to keep a lot more of these cards than I normally do for my openings. Because uh, a lot of them just are good for decks. And I don't have a lot of these cards. Like, I don't have a play set of Zeus. I only have one Zeus. And uh, no talents. I've sold all my talents. That sounds weird, but <laughs> sold all my talents. Generator. Shadow Black Sea. Another Metal Cruncher. I don't really want to see that one. I, I don't know. It's probably worth a ton. There's an Arcosaur. Very good. Uh, and I just don't know. But <laughs> Sales Pitch. Wasn't this a secret rare? I'm pretty sure this was a secret rare. Somebody got trolled with that being a secret rare. All right. Four more tins. Very happy with this so far. We will be doing more openings of this in the future. Live stream. It's going to be fun. Torpedo. Virtual World. Nan Nan. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. An area of the Water Charmer Gentle. Okay, okay. Is it possible to get a third cross out designator? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Melfi Mommy. You sorry. Warning Point. Fiendish Portrait. Dogmatica Eshion. Oh, I thought that was it because it was a spell. And a Burning Draw. Okay, we've got a couple of, of magic cards or spell cards there to kind of troll us. Magic cards, the old school. Okay. Last pack of this tin. Come on. Cybers. Dark Lord. Edran. Rastaban. Wagon. Adamant Spader Signs. We've seen that once. Ooh, Titan Clad, the Ash Dragon. We have not seen that yet. That's cool. And uh, Mahama, the, ma the Fairy Dragon. Okay. Some stuff we haven't seen. I think uh, Titan Clad, or however you say this. Titan Nick Clad. Titan. Titan Nick Clad or whatever, whatever you say there. <laughs> the 
then um, that's a good one. It's no, uh, we've pulled a lot of the good stuff though, so I, I'm not gonna complain if we've only gotten one. Oh. Dragon Maid Shiu, Odd Eyes Revolution, and King Beast Barbaros. All right. Sales pitch we got the uh, Wind Princess and the Ravenous Croconaw. I'm still hoping for that cross out number three. I guess it's technically possible. It's probably not gonna happen because we've already beaten the ratio. I'm still hoping for it. Drytron, super heavy. Dogmatic of Punishment, good. Neshadal Aerial. And Reshadal all windy. Okay, some should all stuff. Adam Emancipator Friends. That was a secret rare as well. And the best set of um, nearly one of the best sets ever. The um Rise of the Duelist. It was a secret rare, and it was horrible. <laughs> it was the only bad secret rare, I think. Okay, Indulge Dark Lord. We the last pack of the third to last ten. Analyzer. Knock division. Sky Striker Ace Rose. Dragonite or Dragite. And Fallen of All Bows. Okay, okay. Still looking for that third talents, though. Okay, let's do this. Goki. Melfi. Owl Survivor. Virtual World. That's an Decider. Come on, okay, double him. Alpha, our first time seeing Alpha. And a Trias Hierarcha. And Raider's Wing. And AI Fusion, okay. All right, our first Alpha. So we haven't seen a lot of the cards, it seems like. Or like some of them are... Coming out at the very end. All right, Raphite. Let's see what we can get here, guys. Armory Call. Try to get another Hamon. That's three of those. Gravedeer's Track Hole and Trap Hole and the Researcher. That's good. That's a good one. I think Adam Spader's kind of fell off, right? I don't think they're that great. I remember some of those Adam Spader cards being worth a lot when they first dropped there. Okay, last pack of the second to last ten. Curse of Dragon. Dark Lord. Gizmek Okami. Magical Hound. Invoked. Agodis area and Gizmek. Okay. Okay. We're still, we're still open for the talents. One more. Come on. Final 10. You guys have a chance to win a 10 yourself. Just like the video, be subscribed and let me know what you think about the mega 10s. Let's go. Trap tricks. Gizmek Okami. Should all schism. Asa and Dogmatica Aiden. Okay. Nothing crazy there. Two more packs. You gotta believe, guys. Here we go. Let's do this. We have Fury of Karishin, Cybers, Torpedo, Penguin, Analyzer, Lingaribo, Cross Sheep. Okay, pretty good one. We'll take that. Oh, Magician Salvation. Ah, every time I see that, I'm like, yes. no, not it. Okay, final pack. It comes down to this. Do you guys believe that we can pull a third, a cross out designator, and a triple tactics talents? in the same pack let's do this bellcat infernoble lantern arc jet charge in the dark world melfi arc rebellion heavy forward dragon maid ghost mourner not bad and tri brigade shurag okay that's not bad overall it's a pretty good case though pulling two cross out is definitely better than average so we cannot complain there so that's it for this 10 case opening i'm feeling a little bit under the weather so sorry if i'm not like super energetic in this one but I know you guys want to see the Mega 10, so I, I had to get it out there. And we do have to shout out our ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. We have TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Foe Show, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!